Uh, yeah, yeah, my name is uh, Tunja Chakmak and I study at the Technical University in Vienna, technical physics, and I did the higher technical school for mechanical engineering. And in the year 2012, in September, I started to make an omnidirectional treadmill because I think this is going to be the future in gaming. I thought about it because of my brother. He had, he had got a remote in, in his home and, and I saw some videos in the internet where the guys are hacking the remote. And I thought, with the remote you could do like funny things. And I was thinking on, thinking on, and, and then I thought, okay, I have an ego shooter game and I want to shoot around and I want to go around and, and glasses exist already, and Oculus is coming. So I thought about a mechanism to move around without changing the, the place. I wanted to have as much movements to get as get uh, into the uh, into the machine, uh, jumping, crouching, turning around, moving while crouching, all this stuff. And important for me was it to make all this stuff in an affordable level. I don't want it to get the device in laboratories or universities. I, I wanted to get the, this device to the people who are playing, really playing at home. And yes, I thought about this um, principle with the low friction and made some experiments at home with a very, very Russian-made uh, prototype. Um, and then I realized that it really works. So I started on and talked with my friends, the students and my family, and all said, yeah, that's cool, you have to go on. And that's, that's the way we, we started. And Cyber Reef is, uh, I uh, grounded Cyber Reef to uh, make a next virtual revel, uh, reality system and to get these systems all together in, in a one piece which fits perfect and which works for the gamers out there. So, uh, obviously the Virtuix only is, is probably one of your biggest uh, competitors. Were, was, was the Cyber uh, uh, virtualizer? The virtualizer, yeah. Uh, was it developed before uh, Virtuix came on the scene, or was um, it about the same time? There's a funny story. Uh, I started to build the prototype, and then I had to go to work to Germany, to a nuclear power plant, and I was working there, and looked at the internet, and my professor from the university sent me an email, look, someone else is doing like this uh, uh, device like you. And I looked at the, at the movies, and I thought, okay, there's someone else doing like this like me. Uh, so I had some stuff before the Virtuix Omni uh, was present in the internet. But now that I saw uh, someone else is working on this, I, I really like it because uh, now we can learn from each other. I am. Um, you can learn from the Virtuix, you can learn from us, and we can make virtual reality better. Have you had any contact with Virtuix at all? Not really. I, I, I wrote him. One email uh, at the, from the nuclear power plant, uh, the <laughs> laptop, and I wrote him that uh, that uh, that is cool what he's making, and I told him that I'm making something like this too, and we want to show the people what we're doing. They can try it here on the Gamescom, and we want to do further than this. We want to uh, analog crouching, for example. If you play a game, you just have crouch this or this, but we want to have every movement and our sensors have every movement they can detect it now we need a software developing uh, company which we can uh, work together and make a war game where you can crouch analog yeah you can uh, jump analog and all this stuff uh, i mean what's the reaction been like so far you've had a few people try uh, the, the virtualizer what's the reaction been like uh, there uh, they, they they told me uh, that's amazing because you really think uh, the demos we are showing now is the place where they are. But because of the music in the background, it's more harder. But if you imagine, you don't have the sound in the background and you have the sound of the area where you move, your brain really thinks this is reality, like in Lone Moor, Asking, man. Um, in terms of how you, uh, you handle tracking uh, people's motion, um, how do you go about that? Are there sensors in the unit itself? Yes, uh, our sensors are integrated in the virtualizer. Uh, we detect different movements, your body height, your angle of the body, your feet, all this stuff is going to uh, detected by sensors and sent to the PC. And the PC uh, tells the software you're using, like the games or the demos, uh, which movement you want to do. It's very simple. So, uh, 
So, uh, what would be our ideal game uh, that you would see on the virtualizer? What would be your perfect game? The perfect game for me, really. I am a very big fan of Alien vs Predator. Oh, really? I want to play with the marine Alien vs Predator in virtual reality mod. I hope someone, someone is going to program this. And you want the, po the pulse rifle as well to go along with it? The pulse rifle. Yes, uh, yes. I love the sound of this oh, weapon. Yeah. I, lo I love the movie Alien, and that's great. So, how many people are, are in your team right now? Uh, we are about eight, nine people now and we are evolving much more now after the games come i think the team is going to grow up and grow up all this stuff is going to grow up uh actually we are now beginning with everything this is our f first convention and everything is growing up now so how do you feel that you uh you uh stand against the virtuix omni who is your obvious uh, competitor in this field how do you think you differentiate well uh jan uh, is in america and does his stuff and we do our stuff in Europe and I think uh, his product is very interesting I really like his, uh, his grooving and uh, the shoes um, but there are some differences so in our device yes you can crouch really you can jump higher you, you can move backward sidewards and I don't I don't test it uh, his product I want to test it because I want to know how the movement of the feet is and I want to know which device is a more natural uh, to move. Because in reality, if you move, it's a, it's a, it's a flat platform. And I think of the, of the feet, maybe it's more comfortable, but I don't know, I don't know, I can't say anything. I want to test it. So, I mean, obviously the, the Omni relies on, on special shoes. In terms of, uh, are you aiming to have sort of a, a, a device where people can just step on in their socks or, or shoes? Uh, we are thinking about a solution where the people can choose what they want. So, if they use socks, it must work, it should work. And we are uh, thinking about some kind of overshoes. So if you have a jogging shoe at home and you like your own shoes, it's comfortable, you like it. Then you put on our overshoes and you can use the virtualizer.